Yo, welcome. Uh, how's it going? It's good to see you. You know what we're about to do, right? Yes, we're about to... Ah, uh, Go ahead and start a new episode of Cat the Show. How y'all doing? It's your boy with the most people in the season, please, sir. Thank you once again. Come on, come all. But uh, most importantly, don't forget to... Uh, there you go. Thank you, Nut Button. Appreciate you. Um, all right. So... Continuing off, we almost died. Yeah, kind of fucking wild if you ask me. But anyway, I fell asleep. Uh, for how long? What time is it, actually? I'm feeling a little uh, lightheaded and I keep blinking compulsively. I'm pushing the curtain aside, I squint my eyes against uh, the unfiltered light pouring in from the window. Uh, the con. Uh, the texture, excuse me, of the canvas feels nothing like the wind did before. The nurse looks up from his work, uh, sitting exactly where he was before. <sighs> Thank you, nurses, man. They they do a lot. Um, if your school is fortunate enough to have one, or if like you have like a good company doctor, or whatever, hey man, take advantage of that. Some real shit, man. You gotta think about these things, bro. How are you feeling? I can't really, t that's not really his voice, right? That's not, a, that's not the voice I have comes from. Eh, whatever, we'll, we'll figure it out. It's been a while. Uh, I can't really tell, so I don't answer for anything. I'm feeling kind of you know, groggy from falling asleep at such a weird time. Hopefully I don't look too weird. What time is it? Me croaking the question uh, to gain some orientation. The nurse looking at his wristwatch before answering. Uh, things seem to be happening in uh, slow motion. Mm, it's a quarter past ten. I try to think for a moment uh, what that means, but I'm not really sure. You didn't answer my question, Michelle. Oh, fine. Climb down from that bed, then. Let's see how you're doing. Don't... Uh, I, I try to do exactly that, only to sway dizzily while I, I move too fast. The nurse moves to support me by an arm and size. Stand up too quickly is what I was going to say. Just sit there. I'll shake your pressure to make sure my good attentions um, sure last for a long time I shut up embarrassed with myself uh, while the nurse gets busy with an old-fashioned contraption in my arm and after a couple minutes he puts it away looking neither pleased uh, nor unhappy you're all right uh, head spinning or has it stopped spinning excuse me yeah a little bit good and how are the contents doing you didn't really show very good judgment out there, Sal. I swallowed the retort I was going to make. Uh, it's what I was thinking to myself, but hearing it stated by someone else uh, makes him want to protest. What he's saying is not pleasant to hear, really. Uh, it doesn't make him any less right. No, sir. He nods, still looking as neutral as he was before. It would be uh, easy to be angry at him if he said, told so, or something, but he doesn't. I can try to help you with to keep your health, but uh, ultimately the last call lies with you. Hopefully this little episode will be something that will remind you of that. Here, a note for your teacher to avoid an interrogation. I take a sip of paper he's offering and then make my leave as I can't think of anything else to say nor even really want to. No, stay out of trouble, you hear me? I don't think it was anything but a scare, but next time could be different. Yeah, I hear you, man. Uh, there's some, there's some way to get to the school building straight from the auxiliary building, but I'm not really too keen to find out and possibly get lost, so I go out from the exit that I know works. I step up the stairs of the auxiliary building, deliberating uh, for a moment between uh, going to the dorms to uh, get my books and stuff, or, uh, I don't know, going straight away to class. The sun stings my eyes, so I head towards the dorms. Right, of course, of course. Corvid Carver, bro, fuck that. If I, look, bro, if I sprain my, if I, like, tweak my ankle at work, I'm going home. Fuck that. I'm not going to waste my time. Fuck that, dude. My shit hurts. I'm going home. I'm going to go relax. Fuck you. Now, it just so happens it's chest day, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this chest workout real quick. But, besides that, fucking, little fucking, ugh. I left the door open, or the door was open in the back, I should say. When I got back to work, so now, like, little fruit flies came in because I had, like, fruit that was... Not like rotting, but like it's fruit. So like if uh, fries, flies, uh, fruit fries specifically are going to come over here and then like get rained like 
a day or two ago. Maybe that's why they're around. I don't know, whatever. But we'll, we'll, we'll figure out. That's my problem. That ain't your problem. That's my problem. You can ask me about it later, and I'll let you know how it's going or how it went. Uh, but anyway, uh, the halls are quiet, uh, as the courtyard was uh, naturally. So uh, what? The halls are quiet, as the courtyard was naturally. So since everyone is in class, I knocked silently at the door of 3-3 to push open the door when Mono calls from the other side. Hey, you fuck! <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. 15 pair of eyes turned to me. Dude, I fucking... Oh my god, I hate coming back from like... I hate coming. I hate coming back from like... Maybe I went to the bathroom or like... Maybe I was late because some shit happened. I'm talking to like a teacher or a counselor or some shit, right? And motherfuckers, as soon as you walk in, what happens? Everybody looks at the motherfucking door to be like, who the fuck is that? And they all just peer at you and it's like... Leave me the fuck alone, all right? Fuck you. And you know what? You know, sometimes you just got to fuck with people and be like, ooh, ah, why are you looking? Just to freak them out, to let them know. Don't ever fucking look at me. And I hope nobody makes a gift out of that. Um, shit. <laughs> Don't matter. Uh, uh, good morning, Nakai. Moda seems to be somewhat confounded by my coming in late as, I, as if I interrupted his flow or something, which I... Probably, I'm pretty sure instructors have some kind of like routine, especially like teachers for like um, a class or whatever, especially professors. I, I would think you have a whole like thing you're trying to say and you want to come off in a certain way. So like unexpected surprises or like, whoa, 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 what the fuck is this? What's all this down, right? Um, Goku. Um, is this is, is this is. Is this four or is this the first one? It has to be the first one, no? No, but this ain't the right gi. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to look it up. It probably is four for all I know. Um, judging, from the, yeah, judging from the rambling lectures that uh, his classes tend to be, that might be the case. I pass in the note that the nurse gave me. Uh, Moto takes it with a nod and reads it quickly. He lifts his eyebrows and gives me a kind of stern look, but doesn't say anything. Just nods somnolently again. He's probably like, what the fuck does this say? Oh, shit. You almost died? Oh, because there's some stupid shit? You fucking idiot. Go sit down. I shrug, and he just... <laughs> uh, and he gestures me at me to run along, so I naturally do. Go sit down. Uh, the class goes... Dude, I would love to voice act, like, in general, right? But, like, specifically... Like, the order, like, the dudes that you see, like, in anime where they're, like, and they got the white beer rice, so you be like, you damn skelly Right? Shit like that. Shit like that, bro. You gotta have some fucking fun with it, man. Like, I don't know. I could see myself being, like, I'm older now, but, like, I could probably make, like, a teen voice if I really wanted to. I don't have a good quality mic, right? But I could probably do something like that or like um maybe like a grand wizard or some shit. I don't know. Not a grand wizard, but like you know, like a like a like a um let me see. Our adventurers are presiding along down the river and as they glare into the moonlight shining into the ocean they see upon the water something escaping out approaching them it, i don't know what the fuck i was doing there it went to like two different ways i don't know point being fuck you and anyway, anyway the class uh, goes on lazily uh, but what i really want to do is be an old man who's like you damn kids stepping over my flowers you feel me just so I can do that part. I don't know. That to me seems like the funnest part. To honestly, that and then like freakouts would be like shit I'd want to do. I don't know. I have to picture the scenario. I need. I feel like I need a good director to tell me. All right, bro. Here's the situation. Here's what we're doing. Blah blah blah. Which I think would be in every kind of. Well, maybe nowadays, but I feel like back then, like. Voice acting sessions would be kind of like, yeah, whatever, just say the line. That's why you see weird dubs and it's like fucking dumb because it's like, yeah, they probably didn't have any actual direction. No one was telling them how they need to be coming off, where they're at, who they're with, right? What's the mood, right? So, uh, which is why it's, uh, it, it's why dub gets a lot of shit. But honestly, some dubs are really fine, especially nowadays. A lot of voice actors who were inspired from like 90s and 2000s anime, and I guess now 2010s animes, right? Growing up, so. 
I feel like the quality is better. Obviously, for some characters, it is kind of like weird to see. Like, I still don't like Ichigo's voice actor for English. He's that voice actor is really good for the English dub of Trigon. All right, he's it's the same guy. It's fucking his voice for was it Vash the Stampede? Va Val Vash the Stampede, I think, is, is what his name was. Tremendous, right? Him as Ichigo? No, fuck that. Ichigo's voice in the in the and I guess the native Japanese language. You know what? Not only is it fucking tremendous, motherfucker. It's a fucking nut. It's worthy of a nut. Exactly. <sighs> anyway, the class goes on lazily. And I think I'm starting to get into the rhythm of the school. Um, I have even stopped worrying about taking notes or being overly att overtly attentive. Excuse me. The first days, I was uh, pretty high strung in class. Uh, Moto finishes his lecture about electricity uh, early, but really, what the fuck? That's cool. Uh, but continues, is it, a, is it like a science class? That's cool. Uh, but continues without a pause about the festival. So, uh, as you know, the festival is on the day after tomorrow, and I hope everyone's projects are going to be successful. Are going to be successful this year. Have a good time, but also come Sunday, please keep the meaning of this festival in your minds. Games and fried food! Oh, I was messing up my bad. It's still fucking that, yeah. Uh, everyone bursts out in laughter, and so do I. Yes, thank you, Mikado. Mikado? Really? That's for that? What the fuck? Misha's last name is Mikado? Misha Mikado? I'm not a fan. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not a fan in general for but whatever. Uh, the remainder of the sentence is buried underneath the ring of the lunch bells, and everyone starts uh, packing their things. Amoto deliberates for a moment, but since almost nobody seems to be paying attention anymore, he gives up and sits down. Just defeated. Uh, it's crowded in the hallway, or as uh, crowded as hallways in the school probably get. Uh, most of the students seem to be heading down for the cafeteria. Normally, I'd join the flow and grab lunch myself, but today's different. That's right. Today... We've been invited to have some quality food. That's right. We're going to have lunch on the motherfucking roof with a beautiful woman. And an uh, odd location, but that's where I was told to go. Fortunately, I managed to find shelter from the storm and leave the classroom door. Um, eventually, the torrent, torrent, yeah, torrent uh, subsides, or subsides, and I step tentatively out onto the hallway, only to be met by Emmy, who comes flouncing down the hallway like a cannonball. Hey, hi, Sal. Great timing. I have super extra lunch today. As promised, let's go upstairs. Yeah, let's go upstairs, baby. Mm. Ooh, babe! Uh, the stairway to the roof is a little uh, dilapidated. Dilapi dilapidated. Dilapidated. There you go. Uh, but it's clearly been used recently. At the top of the stairs is a door completely complete with a missing ladpock. Ladpock? Lad. Pat. Padlock, thank you. Yeah. I wonder why the intrepid individual, who the intrepid individual was that removed the lock. Oh, Emmy shoves the door open and steps beaming into the sunlight. Oh, shit. I recognize exactly who that is. This naughty, naughty girl. Suddenly, tall, dark stranger appears out of nowhere, standing... Imposingly, in front of us, Emmy flinches back, almost falling down the back of the stairs. This right here. Tremendous. Tremendous. Can you guess who we're going for? No, you fucking idiot. Eek! Hello. Um. Oh. Yipes, you scared me, Rin. I don't like that voice. Yeah, well, I guess that works. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, wait, isn't she? That's fucking Rin. Hello. Noticing that Rin is speaking to me, Emmy looks curiously at me. You two know each other? I look confusedly at Emmy. She's that friend of yours? Rin has turned her gaze towards the clouds drifting above the school. I didn't know you know this person, Emmy. It's awkward. The awkward silence lasts only a few seconds until Emmy lets out a tiny giggle, <laughs> shrugging uh, the confidence off. Well, I invited his Sal for lunch. If you know him, it, that's just better. Oh, does this mean I don't get food? Or did you invite him for lunch without the lunch? I, yeah, she did. It's just for me to watch you guys eat, of course. Uh, neither. I actually have food for the three of us. Oh, shit. Oh, nice thinking. 
They walk to the other end of the roof where I stay at the clock, uh, stare, stay at the clock tower or stare at the clock tower for a while. I think that means, I think they meant to say stare at the clock tower, but whatever. Taking in the atmosphere, excuse me. Uh, there is nobody else but us here. And I guess the roof is not as popular as it is in the other schools. Not a lot of people hang out on fucking roofs. I mean, if you, let me know in the comments down below. Do you hang out on fucking roofs? Because if you fucking do, I have a lot of questions for you. Number one, have you joked around about pushing somebody off the roof? No. Why haven't you, you fucking weirdo? I, hold up. Actually, before I, stop, stop. Okay, I, I, for legal reasons, that was a joke. Okay, fuck you. Uh, a few rundown uh, benches and tables are scattered around the edges, perhaps in an attempt to make the rooftops uh, look less desolate. The small pebbles covering the roof rattle beneath our feet, and I peek through the chain link fence to take a look at the school grounds and beyond. To infinity and beyond! Da, 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 da. I don't know why that went Star Wars, but whatever. It went from Toy Story to Star Wars, and technically they're both owned by Disney, so... Hit the like button? I don't fucking know. Students are strolling in, pair, uh, in pairs and groups around the uh, quad quadrangle? Who the fuck caught what? And at the cafeteria. A few delivery trucks are driving past the school towards uh, the convenience store nearby. Somewhere, a watch uh, dog barks at the passerby. Somehow, when I look towards the town center and small town feel strikes me very strongly, almost uh, palpably, palpably. Uh, the hectic lifestyle of big metropolises uh, seems so far away and foreign here. Nobody has to run to catch the bus like their life depended on it or uh, get their senses overloaded by the neon lights and traffic jams. I feel yeah, surprisingly optimistic about this new life of mine, looking at my new Hometown, even if it's going to be mine for only one short year. Is it really just a fucking year? God, wow, a lot of shit happens. Uh, finding out about my illness and having to move away from home all came so uh, suddenly that I haven't had the time to really think and about how I feel. When I step out of the shadow of the clock tower to open, I feel warmth touching my back. The sun shines from a perfectly clear cerulean sky and... A cool breeze sweeping over the rooftop makes me shiver, but only briefly. The wind carries the scent of trees and flowers, not smog or, and uh, car exhaust like it used to just a few weeks ago. Emmy settles on a bench with Rin in tow and produces one big and uh, two small uh, lunch boxes from her bag. Come on, Sal, what are you waiting for? She's begging me to join them, making room on the already small bench. It's a good thing we're fucking thin, so... Uh, his style's a fucking, th yeah, a skinny motherfucker. I mean a skinny motherfucker, all right? Not skinny, not thin. He's a thinny motherfucker. He's probably only got a little bit of flat because of the fact that he was bedridden for a while, right? So, hey, man. Uh, I see myself on the, and he used to play soccer, right? So, yeah, he's he's probably, he's probably, yeah, he's probably, uh, I see myself on the corner of the bench uh, to take as little space as possible. It's... Pretty cramped, uh, but somehow all three of us fit on it. Oh, that's an impressive view. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Look what we got here. Of course it's an impressive fucking view. Emmy surprises a giggle and places a lunchbox in front of Rin and hands another lunchbox to me. Thanks. Here you go. Lunch is promised. Homemade, no less. I'm uh, impressed. Well, wow. wow, this is fucking really good. Yeah, thanks. I make it myself when I can. Nice. Conversation dies off, as I said, about the business of feeding myself. That's, you know what? That makes sense, because she's an athlete, right? So that, that makes a lot of sense. Hmm. That's what's up. She's fucking health conscious, bro. Good. Uh, you gotta fucking think, bro. Um, taking a few bites, I glance up and notice Rin definitely opening a lunchbox and popping, uh, I, was, I don't know why I, was, I thought I said pooping. Uh, popping a fork full of food into her mouth using only her feet. That's got to be a wild sight to see, right? Because obviously, you know, you're just so used to seeing people eat with their hands, right? And even like, like I talk with my hands a lot, right? So I couldn't imagine seeing someone eat with their feet, right? Like obviously someone that doesn't have fucking hands, what are they going to do? Eat like a chicken? No, of course not going to eat like a fucking chicken. They're going to eat... By, by at some point have have um, taught themselves to use their feet to like intertwine or intermingle with 
like utensils with their feet, right? So, and their toes. So, uh, it makes sense. I'm pretty sure burgers are out of the option, right? Um, unless you like cut it or some shit, but like that, why would, like, I would think that diet would be a lot of noodles. Soups would probably be, be like super dope, right? Cause it's just like, you can just slurp it right with a spoon, right? I don't know. I don't want to assume how ambidextrous she is or, you know, if she is at all, right? So yeah, even though I've seen it before, I can't really help but be impressed by her dexterity. Okay, so she's pretty flexible. Cool, cool, cool. It's also a reminder of the sort of place I am in uh, right now. Oh, my bad. Will I ever get used to the sights such as this? What, two women eating food in front of you, dog? All right, probably not. If that's your question, probably not. I can't decide if getting used to such a thing would be a good thing or bad either. Does getting used to this place mean that I'm giving up on being a normal person? That's That's a weird question to ask yourself, bro. It just means you... Look, bro, it's your new life. It's not that you're not normal or whatever. It's just, yeah, bro, you you handicapable. But not really, bro. Honestly, look, you have a, you have a heart uh, condition, right? Which is, in turn, a cardio uh, condition, right? I'm not... Look, I'm a fucking idiot. I have no health degree. I have no knowledge in the field or whatever. I would assume you could probably do a lot more than someone who is missing half their legs, is only two, you know, doesn't really, are missing two limbs, right? Like this, what I'm doing, Rin can do, right? That's a lot. She taught us how to eat with her fucking feet, dog. It's probably more doable to live with our, well, I don't want to assume again, so I... I'm going to shut the fuck up, all right? And and understand, I am willingly out here telling you I'm a fucking idiot, okay? I don't know what I'm talking about, okay? Don't take health advice from myself or any YouTuber or fucking... Look, man, unless it's a fucking expert and a professional, fuck off. It's as simple as that, all right? Don't ever get it twisted because I swear to God, I will be on your ass like Santa on cookies on Christmas Day, so. And if you think I'm joking, all right, bro. Look, man, last time I had it cleared up for legal reasons, right? I haven't cleared shit up. That's right. Seeing you. Mm. All right. Or does it mean that, um, does it just mean that I'm becoming more understanding around those around me? Probably both, high key. I'm distracted from my thoughts by the sight of Amy tearing into her lunch as if it had insulted her ancestors. Yeah, all your ancestors could run. Mike couldn't. Fuck you. I'm a noodle. Damn. That's some noodle hate. Uh, you seem pretty hungry. Josh, she's an athlete. She looks up, mouth half full, and swallows before nodding. That's... There's a sex joke in there somewhere. I just don't know one. My morning run... Oh, <clears throat> well, my morning run always wakes up an appetite. Which is great, be, uh, makes her work of an appetite, right? Uh, which is great because then I could burn through pr lunch pretty quickly. It helps me keep my girlish figure. Oh, shit. What would happen if you lose it? Would you become a man? I mean, I... Wow. Holy shit. Uh, fucking got him. Thank you, friend. Uh, I very nearly choke on my lunch, trying not to laugh. It's a figure of speech. Does your figure have to run in the mornings, too? Do you always talk like this? Are you high right now? Do you ever get nervous? <laughs> uh, fuck. Uh, talk like, oh, okay. All right. Okay. We're just going to fucking be bizarre here. All right. Cool. I think that answers my question or theirs most. Mm -mm. Wait, whose was it? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I can't be fucked. Never mind. I guess it wasn't me. So um, I struggle to think of small talk and settle on the obvious question. How the fuck did you two meet? Ren seems content to let Amy answer this question, so it's maybe embarrassing. Well, um, someone in the housing department thought we'd complement each other well, so we were assigned rooms next to... Who the fuck? Somebody's got a sense of humor. Where's that son of a bitch? That's a, mo that's a funny motherfucker. That's a funny motherfucker. Half legs. Not really half arms, but you know, half arms. Someone's, someone's fucking thinking, bro. Someone, someone knows, bro. It's a thinking game, and that motherfucker has solved it. God damn it. What the fuck? That's beautiful. 
compliment each other. Are you fucking... Hassel, sometimes I look at Hassel and I'm just like, what the fuck, bro? What the fuck are you doing? Like shoes in a suit. Huh? Emmy giggles in my confusion. It's pretty fucking obvious. Put us together and we've got all their limbs. Get it? Oh... Oh, that looks like I was sucking dick. Oh, uh, so I, <clears throat> well, so I, um, I started helping Rin get more ready in the mornings, and that was that. I mean, you can't help someone get dressed every morning and not get along. I see. Rin chooses to this moment to interject. Yeah, I have trouble with shirts. Oh, right, that seems um, fairly obvious. Really? <laughs> Rin. Uh, Rin, what the fuck? I can't wait. Can't wait for her puff. Apparently, this should be some comedy shit with her, bro. Because fuck, man. Um, you could do a lot. You could do a story with Rin. Sees it, Jazz. You could do a story with Rin. Is it this story? I don't know. Are you going to find out? Probably down the line. Give me some fucking time, bro. We're at, what, the third run of this game? Right? Hold up. Yeah, we're at the third fucking, we're at the fucking third one, all right? Hold on, hold on, let me, let me check. Look, before you answer the question, don't spoil it for me, okay? Shut up, Shh, be quiet. Yeah, what you should do is go watch all these other videos I've been uploading. Um, Cod tour show, do, 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 do. Yeah, we're at the third one, so what the fuck? Yeah, the last, damn, the last episode I uploaded was just today was canceled. Fuck, all right, well, uh, I gotta get back on this. Um, <clears throat> kind of. This isn't really helping, but at least Emmy seems to find the whole thing uh, funny. That, and combined with the fact that Rin is genuinely curious, makes me feel slightly better and yet confused. <laughs> I mean, you've got no arms. Damn, his sow. What the fuck, bro? That was too far, bro. You don't acknowledge the handicap, bro. Bro, what the fuck? You can't just be cool, bro? No, it's cool. Motherfuck. Who the fuck? What motherfucker? All right. Look, man, I was in a wheelchair for like a month or two, maybe longer, I don't know. I, I was in a wheelchair for a while, right? I got hit by a car, fucked up, I think, my tibia of my left leg, whatever. Point is, bro, it's kind of fucking obvious. Hey, bro, I'm in a fucking wheelchair, right? So I would assume a motherfucker that is missing two arms is going to be comfortable with the fact, yes, I have no arms. People aren't going to be used to it. I'm going to, I need to get comfortable with people being awkward about the fact that I have no arms. Even though for me, it's like, yeah, it's been all my life. Fuck you. I don't care. <clears throat> so, uh, putting on a shirt, this has got to be funny from their point of view, right? Like, look at this fucking idiot fumble around the fact that someone has a handicap, a major handicap, I should say. Uh, so, uh, putting on a, a shirt seems like one of those uh, things that would be uh, difficult you know what? I'm gonna just shut the fuck up. It'll save me a lot of trouble in the long run. Rin nods in what I'm supposed to be. <laughs> Bro, ah, I see. Yeah. The conversation dies because I'm a fucking idiot and I go back to just, oh fuck, oh fuck, I'm so sorry. I don't know how to communicate with girls. The last girl I talked to, I almost died. Yo, uh, this is wild, bro. What the fuck? I... Hey, man. I don't know what the fuck to say to that. I, I really don't know. Besides, you should like this video before I fucking shoot you. No, I'm not going to shoot anybody. Calm down. Calm down. I own no guns. I own no guns. I've shot guns. I don't own guns. Don't come after me, officer. I didn't say shit. I was just For legal reasons, that was a joke. That's right. Quick thinking. You gotta, it's a thinking game, motherfucker. It's... Ah, oh, it's down there. Never mind. I have Invisible, right? I have the first compendium of Invisible. So I'm kind of like, let me reference it because it's fucking fire. Um, it really is fucking delicious. Thank you, Emmy. Emmy finishes her lunch first and makes uh, a contented noise. Did she have the bigger lunch? Damn, she'd be out here eating good. I fuck with it. Ah, that was good. As she... Busies, busies, busies herself with clean. That was a dumb joke. I'm sorry. With uh, cleaning up her lunch, rinse speaks up. Uh, I'm thirsty. 
Oh, I had almost forgot about that. Sorry. With a flourish, she reaches into her bag and removes a trio of juice boxes. Oh, Ash is juicy? Ash is juicy? Oh, okay. I like you. Fuck yeah. It's on brand, you guys. Fucking think. She tosses me one that appears to be cranberry juice. Oh, delicious choice. One uh, to Rin that appears to be some kind of strawberry milk. Okay, that's a girly choice, but I respect it. Hold up. What did I just say? Let me take that back. How can a fucking milk be girly? All right, strawberry milk is fucking delicious, especially Nesquik. Shout out to Nesquik, all right? I need to buy stock in Nestle. That's what I need to do. Anyway, uh, complete with the pink color scheme, and it keeps an equally pink box of some kind. Uh, fruit puncher herself. Nice. 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 Wait, I got a cranberry juice? Alright, that's cool. I like cranberry juice. You know, I smoke weed, you feel me? California doesn't drug test for weed anymore. Neither does the NBA and the MLB, so... Um, I, I guess I just gotta get a little litty, you feel me? Shit. <laughs> Fuck. Ren dexterously stab... Wow, she can do it herself? <laughs> okay, respect. That's some cool shit. Um, Ren dexterously stabs her straw through the top of her box... And begins to drink. I'm um, once again impressed by how flexible she is, but this time I keep my comment to myself because I, you know, I'm not a fucking idiot. Somehow, I don't think either Amy or Rin are the sorts of people to think twice about the same or the way they work around their particular disabilities. Why the fuck would they? We just explained this dog like six minutes ago. What the fuck were you, with Sal? Rin is especially so. <clears throat> Indeed, she gives off uh, the impression of being entirely unaware that she's missing any limbs at all. Whether or not that's a conscious decision is another matter. I'm honestly not really sure. Um, so, Asal, how did you like it up here? Yeah, huh? Um, it's quite nice, actually. I like high places, you know, for the view. Yeah, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm a spiritual guy, you know. I'm not religious, but I'm spiritual, you guy. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me up here. Uh, and for the lunch, too. Emmy grins a thousand watt grin, pleased by my response, I suppose. No problem. Feel free with, uh, to eat with us uh, next time, too. That's right, Sal. Go hang out with women, bro. It's good for you. Motherfuckers aren't used to talking to women and communicating. So, yeah, go fucking do that, man. Especially if you're in high school, right? And you ain't with a lady, right? Go hang out. What the fuck? Talk to people. Learn how to be, you know, just a fucking person with women. You feel me? Don't get me wrong, I, I prefer to hang out with dudes, right? But I, well, I used, you know, my, my my immediate family, right, is my mom and sister, right? So I'm used to hanging out with women. Um, and then my girlfriend is made up, uh, her family's made up of, uh, she's mainly women. Uh, her, my girlfriend, uh, his family is mainly women, so, like, she used to be in women, though. Um, but I am more used to being with dudes, specifically the dudes I give a fuck about, right? The cute ones. Um, anyway, I won't make you, um, I won't make you a lunch, but you can bring your own up here. That's fine, baby. It's cool. You know, I want to hang out with you. I'm here to hang out with y'all. You feel me? No lunch service? Oh, I don't know. Emmy looks mocked, offended. Trying to take advantage of my good nature? The nerve. Then she giggles. Well, if that's your answer... I guess Rin and I would just keep eating lunch all alone. Don't fall for it. I am suddenly assaulted by the most heart-rending puppy-eyed dogs I've ever seen as Emmy Pouts. I'm kidding. I was fucking kidding. You fucking bitch. You shouldn't have backed down. You shouldn't be like, yeah, fuck you. And then walked away. And then come back and be like, ha, 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 ha. That was funny. Ha, ha. Uh, I love to eat lunch up here again. Yeah, you fucking bitch. You backed out immediately, bro. You should be like, ah, Drew, no, I need your food, girl, so. <sighs> Straight chilling, bro. Like a villain. That's a good location. The company's okay, too. Why am I talking like, hold on. Let's not be promo, right? Let me frown a bit of my declaration of, okay. But seems happy enough that I've accepted her invitation. Dad, bro, you gotta fucking get loose, bro. You, you're not just, look. Y'all gotta understand, okay? Hisao wasn't born from the juice, okay? So clearly, you know, he was given some juice boxes, right? But he's still not juicy, right? He's not myself or yourself, right? How you doing? You doing good? Hold on, give me a sec. How you doing? You doing good? It's good to see you. Hey, you know, that's for you. Not for anybody else. That's for you. That's right. Enjoy that. I didn't. Uh, 
I guess this makes us friends now. Um, or at least acquaintances. The lunch bell rings, signaling a return uh, downstairs. Ren, you didn't finish your lunch again. Uh, I wasn't really that hungry. Plus, you guys are flirting, so it's like, ugh. Well, if you don't eat more, you're gonna fade away. Ren shrugs as if it's an acceptable risk. I fucking love Ren sometimes. Fuck. Come on, we gotta get going. The three of us head down the stairs together. And the afternoon class passes once again, and I find myself without a plan for something to do after school. So I head to the library to return a couple of books I finished reading. Walking inside, I see that there are about as many students here as there were on Tuesday, all the more evident from the almost total silence enveloping uh, the room. And of course, as I drop the books I borrowed or returned the, into the return slots at the counter, Yuko suddenly pops up from behind it, quite startled from the banging they make as they hit the trolley next to her. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and say, for, oh my god, the last episode was in September. Holy shit. No, that recording was in September. I'm going to ask y'all to stay fucking juicy. Take care. It's been a very good time. I'll be seeing you next time. The next episode of Kato with Shoujo. Yeah, man. How y'all been? You good? You better be. Look, if you aren't fucking juicy, I don't know what to tell you. Not that you need this specific brand to be juicy, right? But... You know, I don't care if you drink G Fuel. I don't give a fuck what you drink, bro. What I care about, mainly because I'm not sponsored by anybody, but mainly because fuck you, pay me. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to get out of here, okay? I've been your host with the most, CDP, otherwise known as Caesar Deplee Zero. Shout out RVD. Take care. Remember to comment and like, all right? I will fuck it if I have to. I swear to God, if I got to go on the internet and pull up the motherfucking graph about how 90% of you ain't fucking sub and you watching this, I, I, I don't fucking know. Apparently, I got fans of Thailand now. Now, I got to go learn fucking Taiwanese and shit. That's fine. I'll do that. But, you know, let me let me see you. you know, let me know that you're there. Because I feel you. Right? Do you feel me? Prove it.